This one's supposed to happen. Come here. <laughs> hey, Benzel. He'd stolen that much food that he'd eaten himself to death. <laughs> He was walking backwards, so that's how he got away with it for a long time. Absolutely stunning. Now then, we're out and about again. Hey, you like that one, eh, Nick? Eh? We're in uh, Ardcastle Crags this time. It's a, I think it's a f over 400 acres of woodland, 18 miles of uh, paths, riverside walks and waterfalls and stuff. So we'll have a look at them. Um, there's an old mill that's halfway up it. And I'm gonna talk to you about a legendary outlaw that used to live in these parts. And then in morning, well, I'm gonna find a spot to wild camp up by Blake Dean, I think. And then in the morning, I'm gonna go take a look at the waterfall and uh, might have a dip. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. I think over, over that side at river and up there is an old scout hut. Um, and there's a face on it and the face looked out to where Tom Bell used to have his caves now Tom Bell was a legendary outlaw in these parts and he uh, used to go around stealing food and stuff from the locals and uh, oh look at that weir anyway where were I? Oh yeah, Tom Bell. So I used to go around stealing food and stuff, but he had a, a network of caves that went all the way underneath these hillsides. But no one can seem to find the real entrance to it. There she is, look. Ah, Fenzel, having a drinky poos. Yeah, no one can seem to find the entrance to it. There have been a few like entrances to caves and stuff, but you've got to drop down about five meters on a rope to get into it. And uh, don't think I'm gonna get in it with that. <laughs> Be like Pumba out of Lion King, won't I? When you're getting chased by Nala, I have to get someone to ram me through it. And when he died, his best mate and his right hand man, Willie. What were he called? Willie the Woodsman, and that were it. Willie the Woodsman. He found him in his in his cave, and apparently, he'd stolen that much food that he'd eaten himself to death. <laughs> eh, a bit like me then, isn't he? Eh, eh, bit of a glutton. Another interesting fact about him: he had uh, some specially made shoes. So when he walked, it looked like his footprints, the way how they left footprints, it looked like he was walking backwards. So that's how he got away with it for a long time, with his backward facing shoes. <laughs> hey, go on Tom Bell. Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy some of this scenery and let you have a look at it as well once I, once I get up here. Just gorgeous down here. I love it. Absolutely love it. This bit's uh, usually quite touristy down this bottom end, but doesn't seem to be that many people here today. Loads of places to sit along the way down here. And look at that nice big bench there overlooking the weir. Sorry, that's just me talking to my camera, like, like a weirdo. <laughs> oh, look. Look, it is magical down here. 
Absolutely gorgeous. Mate, you can't get down there. One up here. <sighs> nice little desert island there. Want something you're dying for a drink already, pal? Why don't you just had a drink? So we're on his way up to towards Gibson Mill. I'll talk to you a bit more about that when we get up there. But that's about, I don't know, maybe a third halfway of these beautiful, this beautiful valley, should I say. And uh, that's where people usually stop and then they turn around and go back to the car. But we're going to go all the way up. Come on, mate. We're going to go all the way up to the top end of the valley, up to Blake Dean, it's called, where there were an old trestle bridge that went across the valley for the trains and stuff to go across. I'll talk to you more about that when we get up there as well. In the meantime, let's have a bit of a wander. There's a couple of places where you can cross over the river and that. Over here. Stepping stones across. And if you're feeling a little bit more adventurous, nice big log to get across there. But we don't actually need to go across them, so. Come here. Right, there were quite a few people down there. It's a bit of a, a picnic area and stuff, so needed to get Fendi on lead because there were quite a few dogs there as well. And you just never know with other people's dogs. Now we're going to head off up the trail. You're living your best life, mate. Now these are what they call money trees. Legend has it that you bash coins into there and you're paying to get rid of your ailments and stuff. Whether there's any truth in that, I don't know, but I suppose it's worth a try if all else fails, doesn't it? <laughs> Right, ooh, there's a nice beach over there. So, let's jump to it. Ah, here we go, look. We're at the beach. <laughs> it's only about two foot wide, like, but you're thankful of it, aren't you, mate? There's some stepping stones down there. There's quite a few different, lots of stepping stones down there. There were one just a bit, sort of in the middle that have been you know, they look like they've been washed away. And there were a, a woman and a man trying to cross over and a woman fell in. But I didn't think it was fair to film that hike. <laughs> but we're nearly at Mill now. There's the bridge. The mill and stuff is just here. So we'll go up and have a look at that, shall we? Here we are. Gibson Mill and Cafe. A couple of squirrels there look rooting about in bin. Ice creams and stuff, hot and cold drinks. 
Sounds busy up there. Up in cafe. Come on, mate. Hey. A bit brazen, aren't you? Eh? <laughs> yeah, off he goes. Now this mill, Gibson Mill, was built in 1800. It's got a solar panel roofing. I think it's powered by water as well. I think it's hydro powered. It's got a log burner as well, so it's 100% self-sufficient. One of the first mills of the Industrial Revolution. It used to produce cloth until 1890. And then at the turn of the century, it turned into a, an entertainment uh, emporium where they were roller skating and waltzing. If you search for Gibson Mill and the images on uh, on Google, you get to see it's a bit of a uh, photographer's paradise. Is that with a reflection of the there's a mill pond there? Look, and then the mills there. So when that reflects into the uh, into the water, it's really beautiful. But we've come across the river. I don't know if we should have come across here. Stepping stones again. Or should we go across here? Should we go across here, mate? Down here, over here. The steps over here, you muppet. <laughs> Come over here. <laughs> You're a silly sausage, aren't you? Right, I think we're going to go across here and have a look. Oh, mate. Oh, no. <laughs> Come here! <laughs> hey, Benzel! What happened, mate? Huh? <laughs> this is where everyone comes to take a photo. And you can see why. Especially when sun setting and stuff down into there behind it. It's gorgeous here. Come on, mate, we need to get back across over there. We need to go back across stepping stones. <laughs> She's gonna hate me, isn't she? Right, we need to get back over to the other side over there. So it's over either across this bit of a weir bit here, or there's a log up there. Not quite fancy log, and I don't think Fendi will either. What do you think, mate? Eh? You don't want to get wet again, do you, mate? <laughs> it's either that or walk all the way to the end of this trail. <sighs> And there's the stairs of death that you have to get up. Then you go up and up over banking up onto, onto the side of moor and then drop back down again. But really, I don't particularly want to go up the stairs of death. Because I'm not mentally prepared for it. But you lot will uh, like to watch me struggle, won't you? So. Maybe that's the uh, maybe that's the option rather than that log. Don't know. We can find a decent river crossing further up because I don't usually come on this side. Well, I haven't been on here for 
a long time on this side of the river. It's normally on that side and you go up and through them woods up there and there's a few caves and stuff and places to explore up there. But for now, we'll just carry on this path. So I think we're coming up on the, the fisherman's hut now, if I remember rightly. Get to this sign here. Wood, woodland management sign and that down tree there and there's, there's one path that leads you off up and you go up down up down up down up down I can't be bothered doing that <laughs> and there's this one you either go up there and go up over the top and I think this one this bottom one goes on to the uh, fisherman's hut now the fisherman's hut it's just a little primitive shelter that were put there by the fishermen obviously that used to fish these waters it was just somewhere to get out of the weather when the rain came down and stuff there's, there's fish topping in there at the moment don't know if camera will pick that up but we just go over this little hill here and under this overhang is the fisherman's hut here it is anybody home? there's a little fireplace look fairly big in here you had to get bivy bag and that in here if you wanted let's have a look at your view Ah, oh, look at that. Great view of that. Good thing about this place as well. Not many people know that this is down here. Because like I say, a lot of people stop at Mill and then go, turn back round and go back. This side of the uh, Ardcastle Crag area. There's not that many people here. And I'm not expecting to see anyone really even though it's a Saturday I'll just show you all the walls and that built up on either side and then the fireplace sort of goes out and over there and it's just this big overhanging rock and this is like a little beach area they must have must have liked to fish at this bit here can see why though. Bit of fast flowing water and then it comes in at calm bit here. This will be ideal for fish this. Eerily quiet. Don't like it. Peaceful, but just not what you're used to. Maybe Bigfoot's gonna snatch me out of woods. <laughs> Take me to his lair. Eh? Beautiful. Nice and cold that. That'll do pig. That'll do. You fall down here. You're tumbling all the way to the bottom. But steps there look go all the way from top. All the way down to the bottom there. I didn't really fancy that. But instead we've got this. You all right, mate? Thought you'll be sliding about. Don't want to be going after her, do I? All right, we're nearly, nearly at Blake Dean now. We just come up here. It's this way. Bit hard to see, man. Look at it. It's just ferns are as big as me. Like Jurassic World. I expect to see Velociraptor come out from the side there and grab me. Whew. I can see the uh, the trestles there. Uh, well, the 
the remains of the trestles and that's where we're gonna that's where we're gonna go camp I think come on so trestle bridge you can see the remains of it and that'll have ran straight up here and onto this would have been a big platform at one point so this will have been probably where people would have stood there there you go enjoy yourself mate I think this might have been like a platform for where the unloading loaded goods or maybe people this track here was built specifically just for the building of the reservoirs Warshaw Dean three reservoirs up there and there were people that used to live in a shanty town a bit further up towards the reservoir called Dawson City and that's where people used to live people that worked on the on the reservoirs but we're gonna get down to a there's, there's a nice spot just down here I can't really see it yet but there's a nice spot just down tucked in there so I'll see you when we get down there now this place down here absolutely gorgeous look at that hey up fish jumping out of water here look at that Jesus Christ that must have been close. <laughs> Shat me pants then. <laughs> but yeah, there's a little bubbling brook. It runs up there. And then it meets another river on this side. Here, look. It runs down there. And then they sort of come to a point here. And then run down and that's the this is the valley that I've just walked up I'm pretty much at pretty much at top of valley now I mean this would be a nice place to camp I mean look it's just it's beautiful but some nice person and a massive fire there scarred the ground of this beautiful beauty spot but it's quite flat grassy you could get a couple of tents there if you wanted but we're gonna wed down there because we've just come down this path here down here so we're gonna go along there now go to the uh, where the trestle bridge was and that's where we're gonna camp because it's a bit out of the way because this has got paths and stuff all over the place here and it's sort of like the main route to go up on at moors because we're going to go up there in the morning up over hills over at moors and then to a a beautiful waterfall to have a maybe a dip in there but we're going to head on down here so i'll see you when i get there and here we are look the Trestle Bridge Foundation. Right, I'm going to chill out for a bit, I think. Aren't we, mate? Chill out for a bit. Maybe get a brew on go. Ah. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, maybe get a brew on go, eh? Or maybe even have a dip in here. Wash all that sweat off. This little stove here, look, it's a Soto Windmaster clone, six quid from AliExpress. I've done a test against this. I've got because I've got the uh, I've got the Soto Windmaster, so I tested this against it, and this uh, this little six quid one actually did pretty well, to be honest.
let's filter this water a bit. And get a brew going, shall we? Nice and warm sat on this rock. Can you see me? Do you want to see me? <laughs> nice and warm on here, mate. Why don't you come up here behind me? Come away from the stove, that's it. Get your ass packed there. Chill out. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Sun's gone in now, though. That's a pain in the ass, isn't it? Hey. I'm thinking about having a dip, but there's some big dirty clouds coming over, so I don't think I'll bother with that. As though we're going to waterfall it morning. I'll go jump in there instead. Ah. Oh, hey up, we boiled. Yeah, like I say, I've done a a test, like a versus between that and the Soto Windmaster. I did a video on it anyway, you can have a look at that. Right. Gonna enjoy this for a bit. Looks like I managed to just get the tent up just in time. Started hammering it down and uh, they were even, they had thunder earlier, a couple of minutes ago. But all looks good in here. I've got set up and stuff. Look, there's my sleep pad. Fender's chilling out there, bagging everything in here. Well, this wasn't supposed to happen. Thunderstorms. Alright, we just had a break in rain. So I've gone out to sort guy lines out because I never put them up and I thought if we're going to have a thunderstorm and that then I best put guy lines out. So went out to put guy lines out and the midges outside are absolutely swarming. So... No, I'm not even going to open the thing to show you. There's fucking loads of them. And I brought about 50 back in tent with me. So it's going to be an interesting night. Eight midges. Eight midges. Oh, I'm going to be itching all night now, aren't I? While I'm tent bound, may as well uh, address something that a couple of my viewers have pointed out in the comments section. Now they've said that a bigger YouTuber channel has started copying my videos. But, you know, thing is with YouTube, everybody sees, that's what everyone goes on there to learn, don't they really? They go on there, if you want to... Um, I don't know, figure out how to unblock a toilet or whatever, then you go on YouTube, don't you? How do you unblock a toilet? And it'll show you videos and stuff. So, if people are copying me, and especially bigger channels, then I'm honoured by it. But we all take little bits and bats from uh, other YouTubers. Because like I say, that's what it's there for, it's for learning. And... Uh, so yeah, I'm honoured if they think my content's good enough to copy, 
especially if they're a lot bigger than me. But I do take little bits and bobs from others. Not much, but you've got you just got to put your own spin on it, haven't you? And that brings me on to at the beginning of the video, I mentioned a guy called Nick, and that's Nick G C out and about. And uh, if you're local to the Calder Valley, go check out his YouTube channel. I'll link it below. He does loads of walks around here. Even though he's from Lancashire, I mean there mustn't be much many yeah many walks over in Lancashire. He's the Nick. <laughs> if you're over here all the time, but he's always in Luddenham Valley. Um, Calder Valley, even Huddersfield and stuff like that, doing loads of walks and you know, stuff like this, Hard Castle Crags and stuff like that, so go check his channel out, he's uh, got some really good content on there and some really good walks if that's what you're into, but um, for now, I'm not that hungry, so I'm not going to bother cooking all up, I'm going to just have a snack and I think I'm going to have an early night because if we want to go and have a swim in waterfall in the morning, we need to get up there early because um, I'm guessing some wild swimmers and that'll probably be up there first thing in the morning as well. So it's about half nine now. It's still light. Um, it'll be getting dark soon, pretty shortly anyway. So I thought I heard someone outside the tent then. So for now, I'm going to say good night. Good night from me. Good night from little Fenzel Bubs. You gonna say good night, mate? <laughs> good night, mate. So, I'll see you morning. Mm. Well, oh, good body. Uh, a bit of a cold one last night. My nose is freezing. Uh. We've both been out for a pee already, and it's still dark outside. And it's very misty as well. Very misty. But it'll be light soon, and I'm gonna slowly pack up maybe get a brew on go. And then we'll get off to this uh this beautiful waterfall before any other like wild swimmers get there so we can have it all to ourselves well good morning <laughs> I went back to sleep for a bit all that comfy hey, what's she doing? sliding down to the river again but that's where we were look a bit of flattened grass leave no trace but now we've got to get up here and over there up over the moorland there's not much to see up there but if there is oak if i see oak decent then I'll, uh, I'll i'll let you have a look but need to get to the hidden waterfall now so i'll see you when i get there Right, so that's where we've come down from, up there, over at Moors and down this path. You can hear a waterfall which is just down here, but I just want to point this out. Look at this shit, here. This waterfall, were, uh, it was closed to the public a couple of years ago because of antisocial behaviour, so just don't do it guys, just don't do it. Now let's get down to the waterfall. Right. I'm getting down there now. Can hear it. Ooh, we can just see a little bit of it there, look, peeking through. Can also hear some other people, so with me sleeping in, might not have it all to myself. But 
Can you see that? Let's get closer, shall we? Come here. Oh, look at that. Stay there, mate. Stay there. Absolutely stunning. <sighs> Try and get down these rocks. Look at that. Breathtaking, isn't it? Unfortunately, don't have it to myself, but... Never mind. Look at that. Don't know if I should get in or not. Loads of signs about saying private land. No trespassing. Ooh, fucking hell. <laughs> Bendy, where are you going, mate? Bendy! Down here! Buggered off up there. Where are you going dude? Don't run! <laughs> you know it's like talking to kids at swimming pool isn't it? Right, I'm going to chill here, make a brew. And then uh, have a think about whether I'm going in or not. Ooh. Right, here we go. Got it freezing. Bending on that that candle over mate. We're coming in. Ooh. Oh that's nice. Like a little mermaid, that after it, Fendi. Coming in, mate. Hey, <laughs> coming in, Fendi. Ah. Ah. Oh, warmer than I expected, that. Oh. <sighs> right, I'm gonna have a bit of a paddle around in here and then uh, head off back down to the car, which is down through Crimson Dean and down. Are you worried, mate? All right, calm down. And down towards back down to Ardcastle Crags and get my car from down there. It's about a two mile walk, I think. So. If you want to see some more hidden gems around West Yorkshire and the Calder Valley, then subscribe and then you won't miss out. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye.